Fresh. 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 What's up, everybody? My name is Melanie Smith, and you are watching Fresh Fridays on 24wire.tv. No better way to condescend. You already broke my heart in two. You already told me we were through. All your fool will try again. What if we lose? Let's not pretend. Cause we both know. I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, but I, I consider New York like my, sh my second childhood. I started singing when I was six, but when I was in the third grade, um, they were auditioning kids to sing the lead for this song in the Black, for Black History Month, what, what the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. I think Diana Ross sings it. And I didn't even really know about it. I was just sort of on the side, like singing what I heard, and my teacher, pointed out, you know, singled me out, was like, sing that, sing that louder, and I did, and she's like, you can sing, and that was really the first time that, you know, I had confidence, because someone else who didn't know I, I loved to sing saw it and, and, and recognized it and, and shouted and called me out on it, so that's pretty much the first memory I have of being bitten, like, oh, I can do this? So it was really when I was in school and I realized I had an internship in the corporate world and it was an awful experience. And that's really when I, when I, um, I knew that I, was, I had that experience to put, sort of shove me and give me the confidence to, to go for the art, the artist thing. Because the whole corporate, I was a paralegal for a lawyer who was like the woman from Devil Wars Prada, like literally and it frightened me. <laughs> so it was really at that point, after that internship, that I was like, I'm going for it. I've always been writing poetry, but the first time I wrote a song was when I took that production class in school. And um, I sort of discovered that I had this ability, but it was really Toby Gad, working with him, that really brought out and sort of uh, chiseled away all of the imperfections of my songwriting. I sort of understood what makes a good song from working with him. He sort of guides you in like this therapeutic process of drawing things out of your personal life. I'm a huge fan of Marvin Gaye and songwriters who, who treat albums like an entire story, like a, an entire unit. So I always wanted to do, um, I, wa I always wanted to do a, a conceptual album. So this record is, it chronicles an entire relationship from beginning to end. Oh, I, I do have, I do have a muse um, for this record. Have had, I, I don't know what tense it should be at this point. <laughs> there always be muses, I guess. The muse is never, you know, the, the muse, I do, there, the, my music does come from a personal place, so um, even if it's an embellishment of a feeling, it does come from something real. <laughs> so, yeah. 